we've got a wild Alex Rudd. Oh, Lordy mercy. What's up, Alex? Hi, friend. How are you? <laughs> this is, there's Alex Rudd right there. You already know what to do. There's Alex Rudd. Just go subscribe. But, like, this is, like, my 27th Academy Sports and Outdoors that I've been to this year alone. I don't know. I've been to Academy in, like, every state known to man. Knoxville, Tennessee, here we are, baby. We're gonna do some fishing shopping, though. Let's get to it. Alex is experiencing Academy brand crankbaits. This is Hold the up. same exact color. Like yeah. Almost, ex almost exactly the same. That's probably what, like? This is $8.99. $8.99, that's $3.99. Huh. Hmm. That's they crazy, right? VMC hooks. Yeah. That ain't bad. I mean, if, you, if you're trying to save a little bit of money, yeah. for sure. Hey, I'm that's broke. a... Academy, you need to sponsor both Alex and myself now. Two ninety nine, you can't beat that. No, it's insane. That's all that is is a Sammy right there. Yeah. Like straight up, that's a Sammy. <laughs> I'm telling you, these are the only no a joke. Sammy and a Sammy's fifteen bucks. Yeah. No joke. Those are the only crankbaits that I use. Um, I mean, that looks like an LV five hundred. That looks just like a red eye. Yeah. Oh, dude, these slay. Those slay right there. Huh. This one too, the ghost shad. With the red eye, love it. I've came here to get something, but I don't remember what it was. So hopefully we'll find that. Um, I love the way people look at you when you walk around with a camera. They're just like, "What is this guy doing?" <laughs> oh, he's got a camera. I still, I'm still holding it up, and I ain't talking to it. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm gonna find what I'm looking for, and then I'll talk about it for a second. Let's let's just try that out. All right, ooh, it got cold. Maybe I'm just a sissy. Anyways, we're going to, we're done. We just got some things at this, the place. We're gonna go to his house. We're gonna change the bearings. That's what this whole video is about, and I forgot to say that the whole time. <laughs> it's like uh, you're now. Yeah, see you guys at the house. Wait, <laughs> well, so don't say anything like or anything? Yes, we'll exactly. edit that out, don't yeah. even sweat it. Yeah, we, Look, got, we got you covered, yeah, There's There's Ben right there. There's Well, there's not Ben, there's Alex, and then there's Ben. Look, there's, I say, hey, Ben. What's up, uh, TJ? What's <laughs> up? We're back. Alex's house. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put these spool high-speed bearings in the Concept C, and we're going to put, if they fit, the Concept C bearings in the Concept A. And I waited to do this until I got here to Alex's house because he knows how to do this, and I don't. I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but, yeah, we're going to have some fun here. All right, so we'll do a quick comparison real quick. We will show you the on the C right this is the C right now as it sits that's stock bearings that's just what what it comes with stock yeah. all right and that is with I've, I've got the tension knob backed all the way off and the internal brakes are on three and that's what we're getting so let's open this bad boy up it's actually really not that hard no it's not at all it's so, there's that bearing and then there's one more on the spool and that's it all right so let me get some tweezers here so what holds these things in on the side plate you have a bearing and then I guess on the spool on this one you have a bearing and then you should that's have, it there's not a bearing there here. might be but this is only that's okay it. so we got the two pack which yep. that's fine that yeah. really honestly you switch those two out and you're gonna see a noticeable difference right off the back but on here there's just a little retention spring and it's like a little hexagonal retention spring I like to use like a little pair of, of tweezers maybe Right there is your bearing, so super easy. That right there is your bearing, and all you got to do is take these tweezers. And I'll try to zoom in for you guys. Yeah. So you guys there can kind of see. So here is your retention spring. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is your retention spring. All you're gonna do is take your pliers, and you're gonna grab that retention spring and take it out of there, and keep your finger over it because this thing will launch across the room if you're not too careful. And once you've lost it it's really kind of hard to get your hands on another one because it's such an obscure part all right we're, we'll uh we'll come back to you guys oh we're upside down no we're good we'll come back to you guys when uh when we get it out all right guys that is that retention spring that i'm talking about so once you get that retention spring out i like to use a white towel lay your parts out here where you can see them white is the easiest thing to see them on but literally all you're going to do is pop it out of there there it is and the bearing comes right out and that's your old bearing and what we're going to do is we're going to take our new spool high speed bearing and put it in there so with this pack we get two different sizes here so you guys can see here's the larger one that'll be the one that goes on the spool 
there's the small one that'll be the one that goes in the side plate literally all you do take your bearing drop it in to the side plate just like that take your retention spring and put that bad boy back in there which honestly this is the single hardest part of, of doing this I should be able to get it right back down in there though and there you go so it's in and then what I like to do is where's my oil at there's my oil take an oil some oil literally put like half a drop of oil into it you don't even have to put a full drop and then there the one in the side plate is done it's in you're good to go all right guys so the next one that we have to take out is the one that's actually on the spool so you've got your spool bearing which is right there and there's a little pin in here and that pin keeps that bearing from coming off so what the pins deal is on one end it's fatter on the other end it's tapered so what you want to do is you want to push the tapered end up towards the fat end it'll actually pop that out you'll pop that little pin out and you'll be able to take that bearing off put the new one on and then you just do it in reverse what i like to do is take a pair of needle nose pliers and they actually make a tool to take this little um this little pin out i don't have that tool so i do the next best thing which is a pair of needle nose and pretty much all i do is i take my needle nose i put the bottom pair of the pliers on the pin itself and then the top right next to it so you guys can see it sitting right next to that and pretty much all i do is there pop is. that bad boy right out of there just like that and then this takes some Usually takes a little wiggling as well to get it the rest of the way out of there. Especially if it's the first time you've ever, you know, pulled it apart. Yeah. It's got that factory just. Yeah, because set in place. the factory, they actually, I think, use a machine to do this. They don't do yeah. it by hand. So it presses it in there really, really hard. Let's see, that's not going to come out. We'll get it to come out, though. And the thing is, don't jerk around on it, don't force it because all you're gonna do is break something and that's the last thing you wanna do. And don't like be jerking around and try to force things while you're working on it and make sure you always got a good grip on things. Cause honestly, dude, if you if you drop these little pins, you're never gonna find them. No, you won't. So that's why I said, again, use the white towel. We'll put our pin down there. All you're literally gonna do is drop the bearing right off there. Drop it right on there. Again, half a drop of oil. Honestly, you don't need the oil. The oil just helps to quiet it down a little bit. Um, but then you're just gonna put your pin, figure out which end is tapered, so you'll see a smaller tapered end. You're gonna put that in back into the spool. Take your pliers and literally do in reverse what we did to begin with. So put it on there, except for this time. You're gonna put it on top, make sure the hole is not covered. Push that bad boy down in there. And it'll actually kind of make a popping noise when you when you put it back down on there, just like it made a popping noise when it came out. Yeah, you can only push it so far down. Yep, and there it is. So there you go, it's in there. So what we'll do is we'll put this bad boy back together, and we'll see what it does. So keep in mind one thing. We were only getting about, uh, what do you say, less than five seconds spin time with the stock bearings? Yep. Yeah, we were getting about less than five seconds of, of free spin time with the stock bearings. Uh, so now that we got the spool high speed in there, we're gonna we're gonna spin it for you guys really quick and show you just the difference. Yep. I'm gonna actually back the brakes off internally. Yeah, I jacked them up. I'm gonna back the brakes off internally back where I had them because I've hit them where I was messing with the spool. This is Alex Rudd, by the way. If you guys haven't noticed that by now, you should uh, <laughs> again check his channel out because literally, like I've said before, one of the smartest fishermen ever. Look, yep. so much difference. So much difference. And honestly, guys, I mean, when you get out on the water, when you put weight on this thing and you throw something, you'll notice a dramatic difference. I put these bearings in my cranking reel, which is a Lose Custom Pro, and I can take a bandit now and throw it up a country mile, where before I couldn't. And it's not to say that these bearings are bad bearings in the reels. It's just like upgrading the tires on your truck or putting a cold air intake on your truck. You're just doing a little bit of an upgrade yep. to get a little more performance out of it. And really, that's all this is, is just a yeah. performance upgrade on an already really cool reel. So. That's my uh, cranking reel, actually, as well. So another thing, like Alex was just saying, uh, with lighter baits, you're, you're not going to have to adjust those settings, or you're not going to have to worry about anything like that. Like he said, he can I can launch uh, you know, a 5XD, and he can launch a Bandit just as far as I can launch the 5XD with, with those bearings in it. So it's a really, really solid upgrade.
Now we're gonna attempt to put the concept C bearings in a concept A. Don't know if this is gonna work, literally, to no clue. We're gonna try that. This is gonna be the, the last uh, of reel, obviously, the last reel we do. But uh, <clears throat> a little backstory, I guess, to today's video. I didn't really, didn't really talk about it much. I kind of just, you wait till they, wait till you see the intro to this video. <laughs> it's hilarious. But I didn't really talk about it. Um, I left Fort Knox, Kentucky, drove down here to Alex's in Knoxville, Tennessee. Me, him, and his dad are gonna go fish tomorrow. At where? Fort Loudon. Fort Loudon, yeah. The so, home of the 2019 Bassmaster Class. That's it, yeah. If you didn't know, you found out here for you. Find out here first. But yeah, no, that's that's what this is. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys to death with this. So if you guys do want to see this, I'll make another video doing the exact same thing. We're just gonna try it out, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't. If it works, it works. Cool, whatever. Just let me know in the comments if you want to see me do this again, and, and I'll make another video. But uh, with that being said. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of random all over the place. We've been to everywhere, dude. We've got smoothies. We've been to Academy. I was in Fort Knox five hours ago. It's crazy. It's a wild video. Anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. And uh, what was I going to say? As always, oh. you guys are sweet, and thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah. As always, yeah. As always, you guys are sweet. No. Um, go ahead and... Oh, that's really loud. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Let Yak Pack Outdoors earn your subscription. Seriously, let us earn it. But uh, that being said, thanks again for watching, guys, and we will catch y'all next time. Do the Alex Red right here.